How's it going, people? Right, we're just carrying on from the last video where I was just starting to head north. Um, and my day just got to the point where it just got worse and worse and worse. Oh, this is a fun one. And a pre-warning, I do swear a lot in this video. I'm sorry. So what are we doing about that then? Huh? No, I'm in the den. Yeah, it's smashed the corner of my van up. Yeah. Hey? Yeah, I know what you're saying, but... but... I get what you're saying, but you had the whole fucking road to stop and you still caught me and smashed the corner of this up. That's my vent that goes into my van. Yeah, it's a bit of plastic, but I can't get into the back of that. It's a, convert ah, one, it's a converted van. This is, my, this is my house, right? And yeah. it's converted. So I can't, I can't physically get that out without, from the inside. It's stuck in there, because yeah, obviously yeah, yeah. my van is converted on the inside. Is it warm? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, no, so, <laughs> mate, it's fucking, and now I'm about to stop bro, now. One could have it was not funny, mate. Bro. I'm not being funny, I'm not. I'm just a dick, move. I'm like, sorry, I had the whole space, but yet you saw ahead of yourself. If you looked ahead, you'd have sort of cracked no, up. But then I don't know, I could have fucking break that's why I put the break I wish I had my camera on to see how much how stupid it was. You had you had no space in front of me, so you forced me to break anyway. Yeah, you are here, and then you put exactly how am I meant to stop? No, 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 no. Three and a half don't drive this one, I'll drive a little bit of the Three and a half ton! Three and a half ton of gas stop like that. Hello? Alright mate, I'm just having one of your drivers back. Do you know what? I have driven all over the country past two years and that must have been the most stressful two hour drive I've ever had in my life to be quite honest with you. It was like everybody was out to kill me. It's like I had that first thing when I left there and then I fucking had that van. Let me just explain how that went down as well right. So basically it was a dual carriageway. So I've got a dual carriageway and it turns into a single carriageway. So A303, so if you've ever been on the A303, you know what I'm talking about. Coming down there, I'm doing about 60 miles an hour. I'm just coming to that bit where it joins into one, right? And I, I, I didn't even see this van. I saw a van way before that in my mirror, way further back, right? But obviously he decided to put his foot down and try and get past me in front of me. See now, there was about a two car gap in front of me, enough for me to stop if there was anything wrong with whatever was going in front of me. I was just starting to slow down again because there was a in front of the two cars was a tractor so they just hit that traffic and slowed down of course i get to that point just there and it's literally i'm slowing down and then this that van flies past the right hand side of me here right jumps in and then he gets that close to the car in front he's in a newer mercedes um gets that, cl that close to the car in front that it's got a like anti-collision sensor on the front of his of his van, right? Which made his, his brakes just go boom. So he basically just did an emergency stop straight in front of me, right? So the only thing I could do, rather than plow straight into the back of him, was to to literally just go round him. So I managed to swing round past him, just skim the back right hand corner of his of his van. Then I had obviously oncoming traffic coming towards me. So I had to swing back in again. And as I swung back in again, he's come like, obviously still breaking and come that way. And literally took the fucking vent off the back left hand corner of my van. 
Right, so what, I'll, obviously I'll show you the footage of that and you can make your own mind up, but I guarantee you I hadn't. I, there was nothing I could have done in that moment of time to make that any safer. Um, either that or I'd plough straight into the back of him and, I'm not being funny, but trying to stop a three and a half ton van the same way they can stop is a different ball game. I gave myself enough room to stop if there, anything happened in front of me. I did not know that van was going to just jump straight in front of me like that and literally skim the front of me why do people do that? It just baffles me. Like the traffic is ahead. If he would have looked ahead, he would have saw the traffic and not done what he did. Of course, then I'm driving back up and then people are literally on the opposite side of the road skimming past me. A guy literally makes me go up the curb at one point. And then I'm just then on the way just to here, my one of my park ups that I'm at now. I was coming down the country lane. Um well, it's 50 mile an hour country lane road, so I'm doing 50 mile an hour. And this guy that's oncoming towards me, who's had a car in front of him, decides to pull out into my lane and then literally just skims back in in time. Like I was like, whoa, like there was even me stick my van in the ditch or just brace. And I just sort of braced myself. And luckily, he managed to pull in in time before he hit me. Oh, just... And then on the way up here, I've got my brake fluid lights coming on. I don't know what's going on there. The fluid's fine. My power steering is like a bit heavier than it normally is. You know, and I've got a rattle going on. I've got a squeak going on my brakes. Just had enough. It's like, I can't. Just fucking stressful, man. I've just. Work's quiet again. I haven't got work coming in. You know, it's just fucking all of it's just coming in all at once and it's just fucking hitting me hard. Do you know what I mean? Like, just give me a fucking break, will ya? If there's a man upstairs, right? If there is a man, right? Or woman, I don't know. Could be fucking anything. Could be a fucking donkey for all I can. I don't care what's up there. But give me a fucking break, will ya? For fuck's sake. Excuse my language again. I know I can't help it. But I'm frustrated and I'm kind of upset. I just, I know now I'm going to take this. And my exhaust is fucking leaking, as I've said before. So that's about to fall off. I just fucking... Then I've got other shit in my life that I'm trying to fucking deal with. And I've got this to deal with. And it's, you know what I mean? It's just like... Wow, too much for today, too much. I'm gonna write today off. I'm gonna get in the back and I'm just gonna have a couple of beers, I think, a couple of whiskeys or something, and just. <sighs> Tomorrow is a new day, right? Tomorrow is a new day. Right, I'll see you later. Again, I apologize for the swearing. But at that moment in time, I was oh, just had enough. But tomorrow's a new day, eh? God, it's another hot one today. But today, I am going to start trying to tackle some little bits of my van. Um, I can't do the diff because I haven't got the money for that. So I'm going to give my van an oil and filter change and give it a shake around and see what's going on with my brakes because. Something squeal on the front, I need to sort that out. So I'm gonna go to park outside my mate's garage. He's gonna order me an oil and filter, sort out my exhaust and get that welded back together again. And then that's another thing out of the way. Oh, it just feels like it's all just come up once again. You know, it never comes in like little singles, does it? It always comes in big bulks of bullshit. So let's get going, eh? Well, today is a new day, right? So let's start a new day, start it fresh. As hopefully I can get on the road without people trying to kill me today. Oh, that was a horrible day yesterday. Just. But yeah, let's go give the band some love. Let's go. So let's start with getting this under tray off and dropping the oil. I 
I did that up tight, Jesus. Right. Needs a hand hammer. There we go. Fucking horrible. It's fucking horrible. Stains. Look. I'm trying to wipe it off, it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> size of that. Look. Size of that. Jesus. Oh, it's a bit of old oil. Now you only gotta go hand tight with these, I won't go mad. Who needs a funnel when you've been doing it as long as me you can do it by eye As you're all probably aware, but when you're doing oil and filter change, get the oil level to the max level, start a rub, let the oil get around, let it fill the oil filter back up again, because as you've already seen, that oil filter is massive. Um, do have a little check around, make sure nothing's leaking, especially where the oil filter is, you know, sometimes them seals can not seat right and you just empty all your oil on the floor, so it's always worth a little double check underneath. And for the next couple of times that you stop, just put your head underneath just to make sure there's not any oil on the floor. Do you know what I mean? Just safety first. Knock the engine off, check the oil level again, make sure it's on the maximum. Likely you're going to have to top it up a little bit, but get it to the max level and you should be good to go. Oh, I'm upside down now. There we are. As you can see on my exhaust, it got holes in it. You can see through that. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> so my theory is because obviously I can't afford to replace the exhaust now because I might as well just replace the whole thing and I haven't got the money for that so I'm going to make this work so I don't fall off but my theory is take that main clamp off there and then fit this bad boy in there in its place slide them over the top and then put two clamps around it just to hold it together Yes, it might leak and it's going to be wrapped, but it's not going to fall off. Do you know what I mean? It's going to be better than this big hole anyway, put it that way. So we'll see how we get on. First of all, we've got to try and get that on. Now, I know this isn't probably the best way to do it, but it will work, right? Um, obviously, because I can't afford to replace this exhaust. So what I've gone with, so I took this original clamp off, which I'm going to cut that off in a minute. But I've put on what we call like a joiner. So there's one how can I put it one part of this pipe wrapped round that way and then this one wrapped over the top and then two bits should hold that all together nicely not too concerned about it leaking a bit just don't want it to fall off I mean, I'm gonna call that a fix, rather than a bodge. <laughs> we'll see if it's leaking massively when I start it up. Well, give it an oil change, oil filter, uh, cleaned out the front right brake, and a squealy brake again. Just terrible design. I think they get new calipers because they're pitted where the sliders are, which is a pain in the ass. Um, and obviously, isn't allowing the sliders to move freely and then water's getting in there and yeah so it's going to be a, a continual problem so don't be surprised about end up doing that again in say another six months um it's just that high peel no it wasn't really a high peel high pitched squeal it was just like a and it was just in my ear no matter what music i put on it was there i mean it wasn't binding enough to do to do any sort of damage so say it wasn't getting hot but it was just enough to, to make a squeal um and as you've already seen, sorted the exhaust out. I say I sorted the exhaust out. I'd call that a fix, to be honest with you. That's basically just like joining two bits of pipe together. So, where it's corroded, put that sleeve over it, put the clamps around it. We'll see how long it lasts, shall we? I think the next bit of it is the uh, end pipe that's going to fall off. But, like I said, I haven't got the money. Well, I have got money, but I haven't got money to justify spending it like that on an exhaust when i can try and make do with what i've got do you get what i mean um and my crown and pinion bearing in my diff is shot as i've already said before and ringing around and the prices i'm getting to do it because you need someone to do it properly i mean not really a job that i want to do myself to be honest with you yes if i had if i wasn't in a rush and i didn't live in this and i had, had somewhere to park it then by all means i'd do it but Let's be realistic where I can't do every job at the side of the road, right? So I've got a, an old friend of mine that I, well, I originally spoke to a company that was in Wolverhampton and they wanted something anywhere from 400 quid to 1400 quid, depending on what they were going to replace while they were there. So you could only imagine that they'd just go to town and just replace everything and it'd be 1400 quid, wouldn't it? Um, but I've got an old mate that I know when I used to work at a garage. Um, that's gonna help me out so I can do all the major work well all the all the work that I can do so basically to strip the back end down take the calipers off take the discs off get more get it up on axle stands take the back cover off the diff empty the diff out basically just get it all prepared for him to do what he needs to do right and he'll get all the bearings and the and the you know the crown and pinion and you know what I mean it just and then it'll be a sweet van like it's a sweet van anyway but then it'll just be like because what I'm getting at the minute is it's fine going forward as long as you're good with the clutch. If you get the clutch wrong, say like you pull away too quickly with the clutch, drop the clutch too quick, it'll go chug, 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 chug. And it's, you know, I'm going to do it again for you because I know you're looking saying, how does it go? Chug, 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 chug. <laughs> but I've learned how to drive it now and I can get away without doing it. But when I go in reverse, you can hear it sort of grinding sometimes and obviously that's not good for a differential so i need to get that done rather, sooner rather than later and the pal i've said 
who will help me out doing it as long as I do. I'll help him do it basically. Um, and I'll enjoy that to be fair because I learned something new. Um, yeah, he, he wants like I think he said it's a maximum 500 quid. So laughing, right? And I know he's top dog because when I used to work at a garage, he used to do all the clutches for everyone, the gearboxes and stuff. So he knows what he's doing. He's not, you know, not just some random cowboy. It's like oh, I could help you out. Um, but yeah, it's been an eventful day. It's been better than it was yesterday. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna crack a, a nice cold cider. I think I'm gonna relax and maybe do some video editing because I need to start doing some footage and getting some getting my house in gear. Because what I'm doing is leaving leaving it till like two days before the video needs to go out and then doing it all when it's like wow. So yeah, as I always say, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It means the world to me. And if I can get my channel to grow, that'd be amazing. You know, I don't, I don't like for, I don't like forcing out on people, and I don't like pushing my channel out as such because people are like you need to advertise it more you need to share it on every rampage that's going and i don't want to do it right i don't want to force it down people's throats i'd rather it's like my business i don't force my business down people's throats like i've never really advertised it on here do you know what i mean so it's more just a case of word of mouth and you know people kind of know what i do and you know they want it they can give me a shout you know i don't i don't i'm not a believer in constantly forcing it down people's in people's faces and being like look is my business do you know what i mean or is my channel subscribe um obviously i do it in every video i put up i obviously go please give me a subscribe so give me a little cheeky like give it a subscribe you know drop a little comment in the comment below um and obviously if you don't like it right either scroll by or give it a thumbs down and then drop a comment below and let me know why you don't like it but yeah i'll leave that one there i'll catch you lot in the next one Tada.